What's happening, HC Nation? Hey, this is a Minnesota Monday, but I'm still up in Alaska. Um, this is last week I'm recording this, but I wanted to show you a little bit of the beginning. So, you, most of you most might know my, my story. This is a historical conquest was created out of a class assignment back when I was in college. It was a one-page essay that I was supposed to create in order to pr create a product that would change the world. I think I've actually accomplished that. It started up slow and we're getting bigger. But this is where it began a second time. So after I had produced it, after it had grown to uh, being a card game coming out of college and I had already printed it, my wife told me to go get a real job and she was right because I needed a lot of life experiences. So I actually started building homes in Colorado. When the recession happened in, eight, in 2008, it lasted until 2009, and then I lost my job. So then I moved off to uh, Utah, which was one of the only markets that was still going. Then when the recession hit there, actually a few months after I moved there, I lasted for three layoffs. And then the dis uh, disaster that happened to my family, I was laid off a second time. So move me up here, up to Alaska. It's a beautiful place. You definitely need to visit sometime if you have a chance. But up here in Alaska, I met with a group of young people. They uh, wanted to know about entrepreneurism. So I showed them what I, I created, Historical Conquest. And it was in its raw form, its first edition. <clears throat> and they wanted to know, they wanted to know more about it. They wanted to see it, they wanted to play it. So I brought it out. After being on the show for 10 years, I brought my game out and I let them see it. I let them play it. They wanted more. They were so adamant about wanting more that I got a partner. I put together a lot more illustrations. I put together our, first, our second edition, which had five starter decks and two expansion decks. And that was great. It went really well. We actually started up here in Alaska at our first convention <clears throat> called the Idea Convention people up here have been with me the whole time. The biggest fan base that we've had comes from Alaska. Maybe it's because our story started here in Alaska again for the second time. Maybe it's just because there's great people up here. I don't know. But ever since then, every year I go out to the conventions and I meet even better people. Not to say that they're worse or not. Wait, is it neck and mouth or, or bad? But I, I found just as great people everywhere, all across the United States, going to these homeschooling conventions, going to other gaming conventions, people on different uh, different ways of thinking, different uh, paths. What you can learn from my story is there was a lot of setbacks in coming up with historical conquest. It might not have happened, especially after putting it on the, the shelf for 10 years. But here's the thing, it did happen. It doesn't matter what happens in your life. You can have the, the, the worst problem that ever happens. Your family can fall apart, your jobs can, you can get laid off of your job. You can get back on your feet. You can do the things that you have the potential for, what God has sent you up here to do. You have the potential to do so many wonderful things. Remember that, always remember that. Heck. If I didn't believe that, Historical Conquest would not be a product today. And it wouldn't be growing astronomically like it is right now. We wouldn't have a curriculum coming up. We wouldn't have a game coming up. We wouldn't have it being expanded. We wouldn't be taking on other subjects. Yeah, that's right. I'll be telling you more about that on Thursdays, in the Sneak Peek Thursdays. There's so many things coming up because I stuck with it. I came back to it. I didn't give up. I might have delayed stuff. That, that's one thing. I kept going, and so can you. It doesn't matter what happens in your life. The one thing that I love about coming up to Alaska and going to these conventions is this area is one of the most beautiful places. And one of the things I did here while in Alaska was I worked for Fish and Game. I was the, um, the contract manager for all the construction, uh, land acquisitions, um, everything they had up here when it came to building or renovating their properties. I took old buildings that were need to be torn down and I made them new. That same thing happened with my life and this game. 
I got back on my feet. I know you can. Doesn't matter what happens each day of your life. Every day you could fall down. Get back up. You're worth it. You have the potential to do so much. 